Hello and welcome to Flippin' Through, the internet's number one mad magazine review, news, and interview site. Um, sad man news. I'm on Tom Richmond's, um, what do you call it, website, uh, where he does all sorts of really cool things. He has a blog. You can buy things from him. He, uh, you can sign up for his workshops and all of that. But he posted on Twitter uh, this, uh, some sad man news. And uh, so... I, uh, I thought I would share this with you. Posted June 26, 2020. Um, I am trying something different with my layout just to see if it would makes the web browser uh, easier to read for people watching these videos. Here's a, I mean, here's a lovely caricature of Alfred E. Newman that he's done. Really love that. Mad since 1952. With the daily coronacature going the last 100 days, I have hardly posted any news or other stuff. Been too busy drawing. So it's time to address the latest man news, which is not all that good. Now, um, two things. One, I don't know what news he's talking about. I know the news that I got when I reached out to um, Mad Magazine and got somebody at DC to like kind of fill me in a little bit. But I don't know that there's anything... Uh, I think he might be breaking this story. I don't. I haven't seen it anywhere else. So, um, Mad Number Fifteen is. Well, here's the other thing. He's doing caricatures, uh, which is he draws one caricature every single day for the past hundred days, um, and it's been really cool. He's done some really, really awesome ones. Mad Fifteen is due to be released in August and will contain some new material. We know this, right? Back in late May, MAD stopped accepting solicitations for new work. For the rest of the year, that's what it, uh, I'm assuming he's quoting like an email or something. That includes the year-end issue, which is traditionally the MAD 20 dumbest people events and things of the year. Projects already in the pipeline would be completed, but nothing new would be commissioned except for a new cover each issue. I've also been told recently that there will be a new fold in every issue done by the brilliant Johnny Sampson since Al Jaffe started laying down on the job at a sprightly 99 years old. He was just getting the hang of it. From 16 onward, MAD will be basically 100% reprint material. The exceptions will be a smattering of new stuff that had already been commissioned or is paid for and languishing the evergreen drawer. Um, this, like this, <laughs> aside from the introduction, there's so much news in this, like, first paragraph. Um, like, one, this kind of goes against what I got from the, the guy who emailed me from D.C. So if 15 is in August... Um, I was told by the end of the year, it would be a mix of new and old material, but that could be what he's talking about with this evergreen drawer. Now, here's the other thing is that in, in comics, uh, especially, I know this, um, they would do some things where they would have uh, artists do, artists and writers do like these um, sort of, uh, I forget what they call them. They were basically like a stock story. It would be like a one story issue. And so, if things went wrong, if, I don't know, like an artist um, couldn't make a deadline and they had to like give them a month time to like catch up, they might throw in this issue so that they can have, um, they can still put out the, the comic book, um, but that issue would have a self-contained storyline. I don't know the term, I forget it. But uh, so they do that in the co uh, comic book industry. And it seems like that's what they do at Mad Magazine too. Um, so the exceptions to this, um, reprint material is, um, the stuff that's already been commissioned and paid for, and is just sort of like sitting and waiting to be published. So I don't know. I mean, it's, um, I, I kind of want to reach out to Mad Magazine again and see if I can get any type of information about this. Um, cause that's, that's a pretty big deal. Um, I've also been told recently, so Johnny Sampson, I'm unfamiliar with that artist. Um, 
he's taken over the role of the Folden. Now, I'm I'm sure that some people might guffaw at this and um, act as though it's like a, I don't know, maybe disrespectful of Al Jaffe or something, but uh, that's how it works. Uh, you know, Al Jaffe uh, was the guy who did the fold in, but you know, the other thing that he's really well known for, which is like snappy answers, stupid questions, like that whole snappy answers thing started, it predates him. He just became like the most well-known writer of it. Uh, a Mad Look At with Sergio Aragones, he inherited that from somebody else. So this is, um, good luck to Johnny Sampson. That's pretty cool. Um, good luck to you, dude. It's, uh, you're, you are filling big shoes, and uh, I'm sure you can do it. Uh, I don't think they would hire you if you were unable to do this. And you know what? I hope, I hope that he makes it his own. I hope he doesn't try to like, uh, imitate that style that Al Jaffe had. Be cool to see another artist's take on the fold in. So uh, perhaps the optimistic operative phrase here is for the rest of the year, meaning 2020. Where does he say for the rest of the year? Stop accepting new work for the rest of the year. Okay, he's referring to that first paragraph. DC is saying this is part of their response to the economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, DC. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Uh, which insinuates that once the pandemic is over and the company is back to normal, things may change. I'd like to think that this is the case, but considering they had been scaling back on MAD long before anyone had ever heard of coronavirus, I am less than confident that MAD will return to even the 25%-ish, 25-ish percent new material format. Uh, Tom, I agree 100%. I think this has more to do, and I tweeted this to him, this has more to do with AT&T buying Warner Brothers and DC being legitimately afraid uh, for their own survival um, than it does with the coronavirus. Um, DC has done some pretty huge changes um, so that they can show their their overlords at AT and T that one they are they're you know making a profit and two they're like worth keeping around because AT and T just sold off the games division of Warner Brothers, which was profitable, probably a lot more profitable than Mad Magazine, probably more profitable than even DC Comics. And I say DC Comics, not DC Movies, right? Those are like, those actually are two separate things. Um, so it's, uh, it's kind of, it's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too optimistic either. Um, what else has DC done? I mean, one, they got out of their contract with Diamond Distributors. Two, they fired Dan DiDio. It's uh, like, they're not playing games, man. And it's not, really having to do with COVID-19. It's about saying, like, we know how to trim the fat. Keep us around. We are worth having. Currently wrapping up a two-pager for MAD15 today. Unless things change, this will be my last interior work for the magazine. I turned in my first job for MAD in June of 2000. So I made it exactly 20 years as one of the usual gang of idiots, not ready to write a eulogy for my mad career quite yet. Let's just say I'm thinking of an opening line. Much as I love a good Spiro Agnew gag, let's hope someone at DC changes their minds in 2021 and puts Mad Magazine back in the business of making fun of the current world. The current world deserves to be made fun of. We could all use the laughs. You know, uh, I agree. It's There's a lot to make fun of. Um, if I were a betting man, I would say that um, the way Mad Magazine was making fun of things is kind of the reason that it's in the pickle it's in. Um, there's a lot of just sort of tired jokes that, that I don't know. It's... Um, I love Mad Magazine, and I, I hope that this is something that can be um, reversed. 
Um, I think we got to get out there and we have to make Mad. We have to let DC know that we support Mad Magazine, that we want Mad Magazine. Um, you know, it's if you want something, um, if you enjoy something, you you know, you you spend money on it. <clears throat> people people will realize that and they will they will give you what you want. I mean, Mad Magazine doesn't have the following of Zack Snyder, but like you can see what happens when a company sees that they can make money off of something. They're willing to like backpedal and make changes um, and reverse decisions. So um, I don't know. Start buying subscriptions, I guess, for people you love. Start hitting up Mad Magazine or um, DC Comics. Don't hit up Mad Magazine. Well, so follow Mad Magazine, I guess. But hit up DC. And um, yeah, I, I really hope that this news story gets circulation. And part of that, if you want to uh, share this out, please do hit like, hit subscribe. Um, this, is a, this is a pretty big news story. Anyway, with that, that is all I have to report. Thank you so much for watching and uh, toodaloo.